Yeah. Well, we were doing the walkover, which we probably should have broadcasted today. Uh, Louis C.K. was telling us uh, a horrific oh, flying Jesus. story. We told our little story, which now sounds like a cute little airy plane ride. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when we had to fly in during the storms into a Newark airport. After our Vegas show. After the yes. Vegas show. And it was... It was quite the bimpy ride on the way yes. in. Uh, we hit the wall of clouds, and then it was nothing but c- pure whiteout clouds until we broke through. I, the ceiling was probably at 800 feet. Mm-hmm. Well, Louis flew an airline I would not fly. Really? No. United? I don't fuck with United. Why? Exactly for the reason. Because, because they're fucking cunts. Because, that sounds yeah. like a take the bull by the horns pilot, though. That's the kind of guy I like. Because I was sitting there in the airport saying, uh, uh, what happened to us was we, we got on the plane. They loaded up first class. So we were sitting there drinking a drink. Sipping. Sipping. And uh, they start boarding, you know, last class, as Kenny likes to call it. <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden they get an announcement. Uh, could you get up and leave the plane? Uh, there's a, now a delay. See, right. I thought they were Weather. just talking to coach people. Exactly. Because they smell the joint up. Right. Because you get out because we don't want you in here while we're waiting. <laughs> but uh, they told everybody to get off the plane. Please get off the be a plane delay. because it's funny to us. <laughs> we want to watch you get off <laughs> yeah, and back on. Exactly. So they made us all get off the plane. Yeah. Because of the delay, because of the weather. Right. Then uh, they tell us it's going to be, you know, like a, a, an hour or two. Yeah. And meanwhile, ten minutes later or so, they go, "All right, back on. We got a window." Yeah, get out, get back in, on. get everyone in. Everyone back on. So we all run back on the plane. Yeah. And during that time, though, I say, you know, I want a guy. I want a pilot, a man. Yeah. That go that that was been in wars. That just goes, you know, something. Fuck this. Yeah. I've flown in this shit before. We're going for it. <laughs> right. Well, that's what I have. And just there, you have that. See, yeah, no, sometimes you get a pilot who says stuff like, I had a pilot once who said, uh, you know, we're not, they're not letting us take off. L.A.'s locking down because of the weather there, but I anticipate that it'll clear up by the time we get there. So I'm actually telling them we're going to Las Vegas. I've had a pilot say this, <laughs> and then we'll reroute. How, like, well, you're lying to the <laughs> fucking <laughs> power? <laughs> Don't lie to them. Uh, control, we're going yes. to um, uh, Las Vegas, <laughs> Colorado. <laughs> Nevada, Nevada, Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah. yeah. Well, we might, we might take a turn somewhere before that. So. We probably went. We're going to Las Vegas. Las Guardia. But so this guy, we're sitting at the gate waiting, and then he said, "Actually, the delay isn't because of the weather. It's because the fuel gauge is broken on the plane." Of course, it is a hunk of shit. Airline. You know. So, but we we had somebody. The, they still have the ashtrays in the bathrooms. Yeah, oh, no, I mean, yes. that's why, exactly. that's why that equipment is old. That's why I can't fly United. I had to once, and I saw like. <laughs> Ashtrays they still didn't take out of the bathroom, which means wow, this plane's pretty old. And then they had like a razor dispenser or something. Yeah, you could actually right? get a razor blade. You on could the- shave. <laughs> yes. Right here in the plane, you yeah. can shave if you want. The miracle of modern flight. Yes. Fucking nice. Light up a lucky strike and join us yes. on a transcontinental flight with no stops. It's the miracle. As soon as I saw the old ashtrays, and it might not have been United, but yeah. it was some airline. I'm like, it was a white knuckler. All the way. Yes, and the seats have the that kind of 60s Mike yeah. Brady yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of uh, <laughs> yeah. pattern on them. Like, yeah. Oh, great. If, what, if what, the AIDS? seats are old, how old is the engine, really? <laughs> exactly. You're going to tell me they, they replaced them. Great. That's still yeah. not going to give me comfort. But <laughs> contact. <Yeah>. The contact. <laughs> and the engines are made from space age polymers. <laughs> yes. So the guy says the fuel gauge is broken, but we filled up the tanks, we topped them off, and we had someone climb up and look in the tank. That's what you do when you you have a motorcycle. And you don't want to know, yeah, exactly, you don't want to know that there's a dude, you want to think that something really weird and scientific is, right? it's like a dude looked in the Some guy looked. I hope that dude is not a fucking idiot. Like Now I have to hope. Well, you hope he has depth depth perception. (laughs) And hoping he's not just hung over like, yeah. That. Oh yeah, I checked. Uh, exactly. Like, <laughs> did you check the wing? Yeah, fucking check. Of checked course it. I yeah. did. Shut Fuck up, you. Fuck Son all those people on the plane. But just like, tell me there's a little like minor thing like that's broken. I'm like, it, what else is broken on the plane? Yeah, exactly. And usually when your car breaks down, it's not one thing. All of a sudden, everything yep. is breaking at the same time. But here's time, the right? thing. This was like a little time release capsule of terror that he left with us because <laughs> he sure. said he said this is no problem because we know we have more than enough fuel to get there. Sure. Because it's full. That would be more than we need, and we can even circle for a little while with that amount of fuel. So then we get to LaGuardia and we're circling and circling and circling and then he says, we've only got 20 minutes worth of fuel left. 
What? How the fuck does he know that the when the fuel year? gauge is broken? Yeah. Yes. He did a math problem in his head. Probably. He did it. Yeah. He did it through time. But look, he, he's saying he knows how many hours you can fly on a certain amount of fuel. Yeah. But if maybe there's more stress on the engine when it's get when it's going through nice bad weather, headwind. If he's five minutes off, we're gonna drop from the sky like a <laughs> set of fucking car keys. Avianca did that. Yeah. Right into Long Island. Yeah. So so he goes. Uh, we got twenty minutes of fuel left. So and Laguardia is uh, you know trying to shut down, but it's minute to minute. So we're gonna go ahead and make an approach to Laguardia Airport. And as we get closer, if it gets bad, <laughs> we'll divert and use the last of our fuel to land in Allentown, Pennsylvania. We have enough fuel to do exactly that maneuver. Oh, my so, God. So then he starts coming in. We'll divert to a place where there's lots of we'll big divert. open fields where innocent <laughs> people won't be killed. We will divert to the, yeah. fucking, to the, to, you know, to the Verrazano Narrows. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> one thing uh, you won't have to worry about is uh, fire. There is no fuel left in the tanks. <laughs> yes, exactly. uh, We are doing 500 miles an hour, but yes. uh, you won't burn. Thank no. you. But so he he starts coming, and we start dropping down into the clouds, and it's the ugliest fucking... I mean, the clouds are yellow and brown out yeah, the window. Yeah, it was nasty. Well, you and were listening water, to thing, right? Yeah, and so me and the guy next to me, the fucking two idiots, we put on the headphones and listen to the channel that you can listen to the tower. You can listen to your plane talking yep. to the tower. And so he says to United 266, we're making an approach, we're making an approach. And then we hear LaGuardia Tower say, do not land 266. The, <laughs> the winds are far too heavy. This is not, it's not safe for landing. We're, cl we're shutting down. Don't go divert right now. How do you not pull the headphones off and just yeah. make believe you didn't hear <laughs> yeah. it? Like and the guy says. We can't divert now. We're only we have only four minutes tops of fuel left. Holy! So we have to come in. Oh! God. And the tower is saying it's not a good idea, but go ahead because All what right. else are you gonna do? Give it a shot. Give it a shot, and, Jim. All right, hot <laughs> shot. <laughs> and right at that moment, the stewardess comes up to you. Would you like to have some coffee? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no exactly. clue. Smiling. <laughs> yeah, no. The flight attendants are all strapped in and invisible. They're nowhere to be seen. Yeah. yeah. And I'm holding on like it's gonna help. I'm holding on to my fucking window, like the edges of the window <laughs> just like just in my fit i'm stamping my foot just uncontrollably wow you are fucking scared well because we're drop we keep dropping and the and the once the 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 uh the landing gear goes down and those are all that drag on the plane yeah. the thing is pitching and rolling and making impossible banks to the left and right i mean it's like a fucking oh, man like a joke and we're going and the woman there's a woman behind us holding two children screaming and sobbing, literally, <laughs> literally going, oh my god, oh my god, she's doing exactly that. That's the soundtrack for everyone on the plane. Oh my god, that's horrible. And she's got tears bursting like she's on a fucking train to fucking Auschwitz. <laughs> no, my god, I gotta die. She's saying her kids oh, with her. Shit. She's saying we're gonna die to her kids. She's telling oh, her kids they're gonna die. Oh, that's fucking fantastic. Yeah, and for the flight, the pilot sounding stressed. <laughs> On the even more than I've heard black box recorders, Ooh. and the pilot oh, is like no. sounds like he's smoking a cigarette till the second before. Um, he's like, we only have four minutes of fuel. We hack. We can't divert. Like he sounded like that. You, so, you, have, you probably thought you were watching a movie. Oh no! Like, it was like, like wow, this is why, great. Why <laughs> wouldn't this be death? If I wasn't on this why? plane, this, this would be, be great awesome. to listen to. This is well directed. <laughs> yeah, I love this movie. I love the woman in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> she was awesome. And we drop out of the clouds, <laughs> and we see where we are. We are so close to those fucking Queens housing projects that uh -huh. are in the X shape. Yep. Like it's like the nightmares you have. If we were to, if the if the wing were to tip over, we'd hit. You're the hitting it. And we're going. I've gone over those housing projects thousands of times. I fly all the time. We're going so fucking fast. We're flying like whew, we're just shooting over oh, Queens, man. And every, even the most Texan tough guy passengers that were on, from Denver that were on that plane are like, "Whoa, hey!" <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, hey, hey, oh, and hey. we just—it was so bad that when I just to jump ahead for a second, when I got in the cab, uh, uh, the guy said, "The cabbie said I saw that plane coming. That looked bad." Like cabbies on the they ground, just we're watching it. that one because we're the only assholes in. that fucking landed. No one else was coming in, <laughs> and so we're coming in, and the plane is looks. I mean, I, I'm convinced we're hitting the BQE. We're gonna just whatever it is, and we hit the ground so fucking hard, and my heart is racing, and I had tears in my eyes, just uh, like just invo involuntary. Wow, just tears coming down my face. Like what are these? And the pilot says, ladies and gentlemen, you are free to turn on your cell phones and call your loved ones. And every single person, 
where the phone was the whole plane was chatter of like Holy you wouldn't believe what shit. just happened to me honey I thought I was gonna die and I looked at my phone oh, no. and I thought about calling my wife and I was like fuck her <laughs> I didn't call her <laughs> <laughs> fuck her I thought I was just about to die but Ah, fuck. You call well, like a friend. I don't hey, want to. Dude, you never guess what the yeah, fuck no, just exactly. happened. Because I know what it would have been like, honey, I thought I was going to die. Oh, that's awful. Did you, uh, are you, what time are you getting in? Uh, why no, are you so Why like, was tomorrow morning are you going to let me sleep in? Well, honey, I just thought. Why wasn't that reported? Well, fuck you. What the fuck? <laughs> why didn't that story get out? That's obvious. I don't, he, it was that guy really should be bad. fired. He should be fucking fired. It was really oh, bad. The it was bad the judgment. Pilot? I think what happened was that he had enough time to do what he thought he, but then the tower sent him through an approach that took longer than it he took expected. Longer. It's just what happened with Avianca. They they were flying around, and that was a language barrier too. They were, they didn't declare an emergency. Uh, they declared something that was just under an emergency. Yeah. So they kept diverting him from airport to airport and making him circle. And the plane ran out of fucking gas. Yep. And the the people that survived the crash were like, all of a sudden you hear this silence. And all you hear is the wind yep. whooshing over the wings. Uh. Whoosh, whoosh, no more. And you know how, how the, the, the noise of the engines kind of cancels out noise in the cabin? Yeah, no. You hear way. everything. Yeah. You hear the people in the back fucking row if you're in yeah. first class. Yeah. And just whoosh, and, the and they crashed into the woods. Yep. No fire, no explosion. Just no, cracking and what, trees and fucking, you yeah. know. A lot of people what live because no, of that. Those, right on, kind of near where I live. No, no, when? When you run oh, out when? of fuel about on, 10, a, on 12, a plane. Maybe it's longer now. It's not like when you now. run maybe out of longer, gas on a 15. car. When you run out of gas on a car, you can actually, like, use the starter motor to get it a little <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can right. kind of keep sputtering. But on a plane, it's just... It's and fun. you can stop and get the fuck out, yes. no matter where you are but in a car. How did the dudes... Because he told us that he couldn't be sure how much fuel there was on the plane. Before we left, Right. he said, we know the gauges are wrong... But we're going to go anyway because we've seen the gas. So then you bet it. Well, then you know something? But when you get that close, you go, let's fucking land now. You might even be able to justify that if you're going from point A to point B without any That's problems. That's if fine. If you're going into weather where yeah. you're going to have to circle. And when you're now, talking now about you we have that. four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes left. How if fast is that four minute minutes? one minute off, you're dead and Holy he has shit. no gauge. That four minutes is not four minutes in a no. dentist chair. Yeah. No. That four minutes is four minutes on, yeah. on a roller coaster. See, all <laughs> of our pilots now, fucking... All of our pilots are Vietnam combat tested by, by mm. pilots, but they're also fucked up Vietnam vets that <laughs> yeah. kind of don't give a shit. They just yeah, yeah. uh, yeah. yeah. think you're a bunch of faggots whining on the yeah, back of the All plane. you people that call me a baby killer, uh, <laughs> we're going in. Yeah. It was uh, 1990. Mm -hmm. Avianca. Okay. That's a, fucking awful. That's a great. That is story. a harrowing experience. <laughs> Worst flight ever for you, I guess, right? Easily. I mean, yeah. I'm a fucking platinum and fifteen yeah, different airlines. I fly a million miles constantly. probably. Yeah. I fly through bad weather all the. I, I I sleep through it. I don't give a shit. I yeah. actually have often turned to people around me on planes that look scared and said, "I've seen this. This is nothing. Don't worry. About it. I don't care. I like flying." The lady behind me, by the way, I was I even I kept yelling back, "We're okay!" Like I kept yelling at her. I was We're gonna be myself, okay. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> We're gonna be okay. <laughs> Worst thing I ever.